guys. So I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. Um, I don't know. I've just been busy, I guess. I haven't been making a lot of videos. But I wanted to make a video about um, My Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia or VNHA or whatever. Um, it's an anime that I think I've talked about like several times on my channel already because I really, really like it. Um, but I wanted to talk about it again because I'm still really into it and I just read the new chapters the other day and I wanted to talk about it. But I also wanted to make mint chocolate chip cookies and I was like, you know what I could do? I could just make cookies and talk about Boku no Hero Academia in the same video. What do they have to do with each other? Absolutely nothing, but um, I hope you enjoy this baking slash anime video um, just because. So the first step for that is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Nice. <laughs> And the first thing to say about Boku no Hero Academia, if you don't know what it is, um, it's an anime slash manga um, that's quite popular right now. Um, it's about a kid named Izuku, uh, or Deku, who is, he really wants to be a superhero. He lives in a world where like a lot of people have like superpowers, most people have superpowers, um, and like being a superhero is like a career path you can have, but he was born without any superpowers, but he really, really wants to be a hero because he really, really looks up to the main biggest hero of them all, All Might, and uh, things happen. By the way, this video is gonna have spoilers in it, so if you haven't watched or read Boku no Hero Academia yet, I'm gonna talk about stuff that will spoil things. Okay, so the next step in making the cookies uh, is to mix the wet ingredients. So I kind of got all my ingredients ready so that I wouldn't be like searching for them during this video. So we have half a cup of softened butter, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, one egg, and finally, one teaspoon of vanilla. So those are the dry ingredients. I mean, I, or the wet ingredients. Um, I guess cocoa powder is technically dry, but it is part of the wet ingredients. So then uh, mix all that stuff together. I'll put the uh, recipe in the description uh, if any of you want to make it. So the next thing to say about Boku no Hero Academia uh, is that it's the first anime slash manga that I've really gotten into in a long time. When I was younger, um, I read so much manga and watched some anime, but I was more into reading manga. Um, as, you know, teens are want to do, I feel like manga and anime is such like a, a teen coming of age thing. Um, but there's genuinely really, really good stories in anime and manga, so sue me. But yeah, I hadn't really gotten into any for a long time. Um, I got really into Yuri on Ice when it came out, but that was just like one season of an anime and that only lasted for a few months and then it was over. Um, but this one, I've like, mm, I've gotten so into it. It's so good. I mean, for the most part, it's a standard fare shonen if you've read, you know, One Piece or Naruto or any of those. It's like similar, like it's definitely like one of those, but it's so good. Um, the creator of it said that he was inspired by like American superhero comics, but that he wanted to tell the story of like how these superheroes came to be, like not them as like adults who are already superheroes, but like what they were like as kids and how they became superheroes and what that like path was for them. And that's really cool. And I like that. And that's certainly captured in this story. And it's just, it's just genuinely really good. It has really good characters. It's really fun. It has the, you know, shonen trope of everyone having really cool abilities, but they're really neat and thought out. And uh, like I said, spoilers. So the main kid really wants superpowers, um, but doesn't have superpowers. He wasn't born with superpowers, which is like kind of rare in their world. Like and a lot of people like look down on him and whatever, he gets bullied. Um, and then he meets All Might, who's like the biggest superhero of them all. He's like the number one hero in Japan. Um, and he finds out that All Might's power is actually passed down. Like it's not something you're born with. It's something you get, you inherit from the previous like All Might. Um, and All Might was born without superpowers as well. He got it from his mentor and he ends up choosing Izuku, the main kid, Midoriya, Deku, got many names, um, to be his successor. So the kid in the first few episodes, first few chapters, gets this superpower from his mentor and then he goes to the superhero school that he always wanted to go to and he meets all these like fun kids and you know like it's it's shown and it's standard fare but it's just so fun and well written and the characters are so good. The main kid is adorable, he's quirky, he's interesting, he's like I mean he's a shonen protagonist for sure but he's like a little more nerdy and quiet and nervous than I feel like other anime shonen protagonists. Um, he's just so wholesome. <laughs> And then of course, because it's at a school, um, you've got the whole class. And I just love anything with a really solid ensemble cast of like, 
fun, quirky characters who are all friends, uh, who all have different like abilities and personality quirks, and that's just like the whole center of this because it's really about him, his class of superhero classmates, some of whom are really, really cool, uh, and I will talk about them uh, after I do the next cookie step because I pretty much finished mixing the wet ingredients. Honestly, it already looks amazing. Oh my god. Chocolatey, very buttery, but I haven't added the other stuff yet. So then you have the dry ingredients, which is a uh, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, no, baking soda, baking soda. Um, add that to one cup of flour and then mix that into your wet ingredients. And while that's uh, mixing, I will talk to you about my favorite characters from Boku no Hero Academia, um, which, you know, the, the too long didn't read version of it is all of them. I really love the whole cast. I think it's an amazing ensemble cast. Um, some of my specific favorites, um, there's Izuku's two like best friends at school, Uraraka and Ida. I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of these names. And they're just so cute because like, I don't know, I mean I feel like most stories do have that sort of generic like two guys and a girl, three best friends, main characters of it, but they just feel like such genuinely good best friends and it's just such a solid friendship and they're kind of like the nerdy kids in the class more so and like they're just like these little dorky nerd kids who are all like really good friends and they're just I don't know very very cute I mean there's a lot of other good characters right so there's Bakugo who is um, Midoriya's childhood friend slash bully really um who yeah like throughout their whole childhood he like really like teased not just teased but like genuinely harassed um Iruku Iruku um Izuku um but Izuku really always like wanted to be his friend and like a big part of um, Bakugo's character is that like he felt like Izuku was looking down on him and he has like a real complex about like people looking down on him so that's like part of why he hated Izuku and was so mean to him Izuku was just this genuinely nice kid who wanted to be his friend was always nice to him but um Bakugo has an amazing character arc like he's definitely not the best person ever but like he comes to the school and like it's like in middle school before they like went to the superhero school he was like the top dog and he was cool and he had all these like bully friends and he made fun of like Izuku and then he comes to this like superhero school and like people like realize that he's being a dick and they don't like him very much and he doesn't have a lot of friends and he's like coming to this realization like a big part of his character is him like realizing that he hasn't been a great person and that like he has a lot to work on with himself and he's got I don't know he's like a really interesting character I think he's a really well done like bully character and it's not necessarily like I feel like some bully stories like it's like oh well he's a bully because other people bullied him or whatever but like his story is more complex than that I think um, and he's just really really good and interesting character um, so he's one of my favorites uh, there's a kid named Todoroki who people <laughs> refer to as Ice Zuko or Baby Zuko. If you've ever watched or heard of Avatar The Last Airbender, um, you will know who Zuko is. And Todoroki is very Zuko-esque. First of all, he has a very similar scar on his face, so he like looks like Zuko. Zuko. I just can't say names today. Zuko from Avatar. But also like personality-wise, um, he's got sort of a similar-ish backstory, bad parents, like a dad who really wanted because his dad um Todoroki's dad is like the second best hero in Japan after All Might and he's like not a nice guy um and he basically literally just had his kid Todoroki so that Todoroki could like become an even better hero than he was and like only cares about him like being a strong hero and literally doesn't care about his well-being at all and he's just a terrible dad and like Todoroki has grown up in this like terrible environment um, and at first he seems like he's this like cool kid who doesn't care about anyone else but he just genuinely like doesn't know how to socialize or how to be happy. <laughs> Becomes good friends with Midoriya and I love him and he's my baby Zuko. So if you like Zuko from Avatar you'll probably like Todoroki. And then my favorite character in the entire class who doesn't actually do a ton but I love his like character design and his power is Tokoyami who literally just has a bird head. Like he's a kid a human body with a bird head, but his power, his superpower, doesn't have anything to do with birds. His superpower is that he can create this like shadow monster thing uh, that is bird shaped, but like he just has a bird head. And the fun like concept in this universe is that at some point, like a few generations ago, people just started suddenly started getting superpowers and they didn't know why and they were random. And then as the generations have gone on in the last few decades, um, 
people's powers combined so like each kid's power is like sort of a combination of their parents powers so the powers have gotten weirder over time as like different powers combine so like we haven't seen Tokoyomi's parents but there's a good chance that like one of his parents had like a shadow power and one of his parents had bird powers and then he was just randomly born with a bird head and it's just so good and he's like this little goth kid who like definitely shops at Hot Topic or whatever the Japanese equivalent of Hot Topic is and he has a bird head and I love him so much um so yeah Read it, if only for Tokoyami the Bird Kid. Um, all right, so I've mixed the dry and the wet ingredients together, and now the only other thing to add is the mint M&Ms. Um, oh, and the oven just beeped. Did you hear that? It's ready, perfect. So I'll throw those in, that's half a cup, um, which is literally just all I had left in the bag, um, which worked out. So mix those in a little bit. Oh man, this looks really, really good. There we go, that looks I mean, it doesn't look actually that appealing, but it also looks really tasty. Okay, so I took a baking tray and put some tin foil on it. Um, normally I'd put parchment paper, but we're out of parchment paper, so tin foil it is. Um, and then I'm just going to put, it says rounded, rounded tablespoons, just little chunks on here uh, and pop them in the oven. So it wasn't a very long recipe. But yeah, while I do that, I'm gonna talk about probably my other favorite thing about Boku no Hero Academia, which I've sort of talked about, but um, it's just like the powers that they have. Like obviously when it's a universe like full of people with superpowers, the authors get pretty creative with like what those superpowers are. They are very creative um, to the point that some are like silly, but some of the ones that are seen silly end up being like significant characters. So like, for example, um, well, the main kid, Izuku, who, I mean, wasn't born with powers, but then got All Might's power, his ability is basically just, like, super strength, kind of. His is, like, the most poorly defined, and I think that's sort of on purpose because, like, he just got this power and he doesn't really know how to use it, and, like, it's been passed down over the generations, and it kind of seems to be implied that every time it gets passed down to another person, it changes a little bit, like, it gets stronger, but also, like, just different in some ways, like, or it's at least used differently, like, All Might punches things a lot, but then Izuku sort of, like, learns to, like, kick things instead, because he ends up injuring his arms, so it sort of changes over time, but it's essentially, like, very strong, so his is, like, not as interesting, but, um, for example, Bakugo, who I talked about, his power is that he can basically, like, explode things, like, touch them and explode them, but the, like, concept behind it is that he sweats, his hands sweat nitroglycerin, and then he can ignite that nitro nitroglycerin um, and explode things. And it's explained like that his parents, his mom, um, her skin secretes glycerin, which basically just gives her nice skin. That's like her whole power. Um, and his dad can like basically like ignite his palm sweat. So the combination of that is very explosive nitroglycerin palm sweat, um, which sounds hilarious, but Bakugo is considered like one of the strongest kids in their class and that's like a really strong power, but it sounds really funny. Um, so like that's kind of an example. And then there's like um, Ida, who's one of um, the main kid's fav or favorite friends, best friends. Um, he just has engines in his legs like he can run really fast because he has engines in his legs and like his whole family kind of has related powers like his brother has engines in like his shoulders i think it's really weird and then like some of them have more like animal based powers like there's one of the best characters is to you um she i think that's how it's pronounced um she just is a frog she's a frog person she has frog powers uh and she's adorable um she's literally one of the best characters um and then there's, like I said, the bird kid whose power literally has nothing to do with being a bird and everything to do with creating like a shadow monster that comes out of his stomach. Um, and there's a kid who his power is um, basically like creating a laser that comes out of his belly button <laughs> and can like laser things. Um, what else? There's a kid, Kirishima, who's also one of my favorite characters. Um, he can just make his body really hard, like armor. Um, and so he's very like defensive, but he can also like kind of make it sharp, so he can kind of use his body as a weapon. And the interesting thing is like because everyone is born with superpowers, not everyone has like strong superpowers. Like um, Izuku, his mom, her superpower is just that she can like levitate small objects and like pull them to her. Like she could like make her phone come to her or whatever, but she can't like levitate a building or anything. Um, so it's not like an incredibly strong power. It's just kind of like oh you know useful little oh I can levitate things kind of power. And so like a lot of people in society like just have not super amazing powers so like not everyone is a superhero that's like a job you can study for and like go to school for and it's just a really neat 
universe that's been built up, I think. Like, it just creates a cool story setting, right? This, like, world where everyone has superpowers, almost, um, but not everyone is necessarily a superhero or villain. Um, there's also villain characters, which I didn't even touch on, but um, I'm just about done this tray. I'm just gonna rearrange it a little bit. I hope I didn't make these too big. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Uh, I hope they don't spread too much because they're a little big, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then um, we'll see what they're like when they're done. So they bake for eight to 10 minutes, so I'll put them in for eight and then see how they're doing. Um, so uh, I will show you what they look like when they're done, but that was basically my video about making mint cookies and Boku no Hero Academia. I hope that was like not too rambly or nonsensical. Um, I just really wanted to talk about this anime that I'm enjoying, slash manga. I caught up on the anime, there's only two seasons so far. The manga like goes way further than where the anime is at, so I watched the anime and then I read from that point to the manga because the manga and the anime are pretty much identical so you can basically like watch the two seasons of the anime figure out where that is in the manga and then just read the manga from there like i didn't read the beginning of the manga because i already watched the anime but whatever read it watch it it's just really good and really fun and also if you want you can make these cookies like i said i'll put the description put the recipe in the description if you're interested um so i will insert now what they look like when they're done All right, taste test time. They're still pretty warm, so they're like kind of mushy, but they seem like they're gonna be really good. Mm-hmm. It's very, very good. Wow, it's, it's actually even better than I expected. Like, I don't love mint M&Ms. I actually like Smarties better than M&Ms, which um, if you're American, I don't think you have them. I know Americans have something else called Smarties that we call Rockets, but what we call Smarties are basically like a similar to M&M's, but I like them better than M&M's. But mint M&M's in chocolate cookies is very, very good. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Um, I make lots of videos about anime and video games and Homestuck and all kinds of nerdy things like that. So if you're interested in any of that, you can subscribe. If you liked this video, you can like it and comment. Let me know what you think of Boku no Hero Academia and cookies. Um, I also make the occasional baking video if you're interested in that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a future video, I guess.